This area has a really deep history. Many of the local mountain ranges were named by Turnbull Thompson, the great, great grandfather of the client. He was one of the first surveyors in the 1850s who was uniquely painting as well as surveying the area. The client came to us looking for a design for a cellar door. He wanted it to be unique to New Zealand but connect to winery he owns in France. He had a passion for the New Zealand outdoors and in the end we settled on a musterous hut as a basis for the project. The backcountry huts that we study, they had corrugated iron that wrapped over the eaves. There were no spouting or gutters. Often the fireplaces were deliberately detached from the buildings. The exterior was pre-washed with acid and then washed off with water to pre-weather it and give it a sense of history as well as remove reflectivity. The trusses are exposed as are the purlins and the joints are positive and reinforce the pioneering idea of bringing things together. With this design we separated the admin and back of house function into one structure and the cellar door into a structure at the front and separated that into three spaces. Two lounge type spaces anchored by fireplaces at each end and the central space for access and entry. As you walk into the breezeway, there is a shift of material onto the floor. You walk from schist in the atrium onto timber cobbles, and this space is conceived of as what was used to bed horses in the night or shelter animals. In the traditional hut model, the fireplaces are sitting on the outside at each end so the heat radiates into the middle. Here we chose to use Warmington fireplaces to do the same, as well as a Warmington fire with a cooking grill for the staff area where people could come together and celebrate the day's end. The most rewarding part of the project is when the client walks into the building, they understand it, they feel they own it, it's familiar to them, and in this case they know how to sell their wine from it. I think that the history of innovation in New Zealand is centred around our pioneering spirit. That is our legacy. The future of commercial architecture will be more around celebrating the rich environment we have and embracing our unique landscape.